This is Red Feather from Grepax. In this creative video, we will be showing you how to import an image or rather photo into Krita for use with your animation. Before importing an image or photo into Krita, there are a few things to consider. And that is the size and format of the image or photo. Open Krita Digital anima uh, Paint and Animation Program. Once it is open, go to File, scroll down and click New. By default, the Krita image size is 1600 by 1200. So you have a choice. If you know the size of your image or photo, you can change it to the size, then click Create, and move on to import your image and continue with your project. Or you can change your image size and format to better accommodate the default settings of Krita. In order to do this, hit cancel if you have the Krita program open as I do and close Krita. Go to the image or photo you would like to use. Notice mine is in the in a JPG format at this time. This is an image I had used to create a animation video I made just using the Kadian Live video editor and of course GIMP. If you are interested in seeing that video please see our video called Kadian Live Car Animated Graphics. Right click on the image or photo, scroll down to Properties, and click. When the Properties window appears, in the upper right corner of the Properties window, click Image. Notice the size of the image is much larger than the default setting of Krita. So let's go ahead and change this and at the same time change the format to a PNG. Close the properties window and launch GIMP or the program you use to change the size of photos. In our case it will be GIMP. Open GIMP, go to File, scroll down to Open, and click. Then navigate to where your image is to be used in Krita. Highlight and click Open. Once your image has imported into GIMP, go to File, scroll down to Save for the Web, and click. Put a check mark in the box that says PNG24. Once you do this, you should notice a reduction of file size of the image. Then click on the Next Option menu. Notice this is where you can change the image size. Change the width to 1600 and the height should automatically adjust. If it does not, for some reason, click in the height window and manually change it to 1200. Once GIMP is done adjusting the image, 
Click Save and navigate to the directory you would like to save it in and click Save. Open Krita Paint and Animation, go to File, scroll down to New and click. Once the next window appears, go down to where it says Create and click. Once the new canvas appears in Krita, go to File, scroll down to Import Animation Frames and click. When the Krita Image Import window appears, click on Add Image. Navigate to where the, your image or photo is located, highlight it, and click Open. Notice I have a, an animated scene I have been working on that I placed the image into. Although this takes further manipulation not covered in this video, such as merging, any further resizing, and or inking. I hope you have enjoyed this Critter video and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber? And do not forget to ring that bell and choose your way to be notified of new videos. I mean, after all, it is free. The intro and extra of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu One from his YouTube channel. Thank you in advance. I am out.